Welcome to Tech Binomial. In this tutorial, we will see how to use the fingerprint or biometric functionality in an Ionic Angular application. The plugin falls under awesome code of plugins. We need to install these two plugins in an Ionic Angular application. So let's create the application first. Here I am creating Ionic Angular capacitor application. Install the first required plugin. second one here the link is provided for the documentation you will notice here this plugin is not updated from last two years so it might require few changes you can refer this documentation before using the plugin so let's start before proceeding for the actual coding let's understand what the authentication flow you can implement for the biometric authentication once the user sign up just log in the user using the regular username password and send this credentials to the server the server issues a long life refresh token if the user is authenticated save this refresh token to the biometric registry using the register biometric secret method now whenever the user attempt for the login let the user authenticate it using the biometric fingerprint if the user is authenticated then load the refresh token from the biometric registry using the method load biometric secret now send this refresh token to the server so that server exchange the refresh token for a valid access token there might be few changes in this flow as per the requirement of the application. Now let's see how to use the plugin in our application. Import the fingerprint plugin. Now on the init process, we'll call the authenticate by fingerprints method. So define here one custom method. Now first check if the fingerprint is available. If it's available, then only proceed. The method given is the show method which prompt for the fingerprint. Now here you can set the title, subtitle, description, disable backup and cancel button title. Just catch in case there is any error. Now here this option is important here we are set disable backup to true if it is true remove backup option on authentication dialog and the default value is false this is useful only in case you want to implement the fallback let's run this application on the actual android device i am running it on vivo mobile Now change this option disable backup to false and run this application again. If you click on the cancel button, it shows the use pin option at the top. After selecting the use pin option, user have to enter the pin that is set for the mobile phone. Now we will check how to register the biometric secret here. Call the register biometric secret method of the plugin. Now add the title, subtitle, description and secret. So I am passing here as a parameter. Then again the disable backup option to true. Handle the success and catch the error. Call this method on init. Now if you check the code for this plugin, they have given here the register biometric secret, then load biometric secret and the simple authentication. So all these three methods are calling the run biometric activity. And this run biometric activity using the intent prompting for the biometric. Secret will be stored in the biometric registry. Add here the method to load the biometric secret. Now 
then again set these properties we will check here what's the result all this method on in it let's run this application now the secret is loaded from the biometric registry this is simple demonstration how you can implement the fingerprint biometric plugin in your application but for the real application you need to fit all this method in a proper authentication flow i hope this tutorial is helpful for you so don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel till then take care bye bye